This is AQA A-Level Chemistry. It's a required practical skills question from paper three. This is RPA one and it's question nine. Gonna recommend you pause, have a go at this question on paper and then review. You can see the entirety of the question on screen right here. Unpause when you're ready. And let's take a look. In a titration experiment, a good technique is essential for an accurate result to be obtained. A. Suggest a reason for removing the funnel after it has been used for filling the burette. This is a really common question. It's something that you do need to be very, very familiar with, but there is a logic to it. If I have a funnel that I've poured liquid through, there is still going to be liquid in that funnel at the end. And if those droplets continue to drip into your burette as you're titrating, it's going to increase the volume. You're going to end up with a lower reading overall than you would have expected because there will be more solution left in the burette than you would expect. Suggest one other source of error in using the burette to carry out a titration. Well, it might be that there's an air bubble left in the tap. They are the two main areas. Think about funnel at the top, air bubble at the bottom, and you've covered all of those bases. For C, during the titration, the inside of the conical flask is rinsed with distilled water. Why does this improve the accuracy of the titer? Well, you will know that as you pour things into a conical flask, there will be droplets that will settle on the side of the flask and not drip down to the bottom. The water will ensure that all of the unreacted reagent is sent to the bottom of the flask so it won't be left unreacted on the side. But you might then be questioning about adding extra water. That will not change the volume of EDTA solution required in the titration. The EDTA is what we are adding. Now, if you think about this, yes, we are changing the concentration of what's in the flask. We are changing the volume in there. But what we're not doing is changing the number of moles. So the number of moles of EDTA needed would be the same. That takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening and goodbye.